Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Monday, July 26th. A uh, nice little green day to start the week, plus 640. Uh, so let's go over these, I'll show you what we did, starting with our Mighty 90s. Just one Mighty 90, basically scratched it for plus 18. No pairs trades today on the runners, plus 622. Had a uh, trade in Airbnb for minus 54, DKNG plus 145, Facebook minus 400, Piton plus 420. Twitter plus 179 and the NASDAQ uh, micros plus 332. So let me bring up the charts. I'll show you what we did here. Uh, starting with Airbnb and our Mighty 90 trade. So we actually had a, a Mighty 90 and a runner here. So the first of Mighty 90 had this push up, nice spike in volume, got short uh, right, at, right in here, pretty close to the top. Uh, but it really just started to chop around, and so I ended up cutting out before it fell off. So ended up just taking a, a scratch, plus 18 on that one. And then on the runner, uh, minus, uh, minus 54 on that, and basically what we did here is uh, as it came down to unchanged, uh, got long, I think it was like right here, started to bounce a couple times, uh, took some off, and then held on to my last piece, came all the way back down here. When it started to flush, just cut out. So I ended up taking a, a small loss on that one. So that's Airbnb. DKNG. Did a runner in DKNG here. Um, so when it bounced all the way back up to, uh, to unchanged here on the day and pulled back, got long right here, caught this nice winner, uh, gave some back because when it pulled back, uh, ended up getting long again, adding back in. It never quite gave us much of a bounce after that. It kind of rolled over, so just cut out and took a, took a small profit of plus 145. Facebook got me for, a, uh, for 400. So let's see, Facebook here. Uh, well, so first of all, uh, on this initial push, when it pulled back here, I was trying to get, I was trying to get long, which would have been a nice bounce. Didn't, never got in. Uh, ended up getting in here, started to bounce, and then rolled over, so I ended up just cutting out somewhere down in here, I think is where I got out. Uh, ended up bouncing off of Unchanged really nicely, but I just I cut out and, and uh, said goodbye to Facebook for the, for the time being. Uh, Piton plus 420, this is a nice trade, kind of later, later morning, early afternoon. Got in right here, uh, yeah, right before noon, as it uh, had, this, had this strength grinded all the way back up into positive territory, pulled back to unchanged, got long right here, and caught this bounce. Uh, I think I got out of my last piece about right there. Plus 420. Uh, Twitter, plus 179. Let's take a look at Twitter. So Twitter had this flush, big spike in volume, so when it bounced here, got short, and caught this move down. I was out of three quarters of the position when it bounced up here uh, and started to push through, ended up just cutting out. And, uh, and taking a profit there, plus 179. And then lastly, the NASDAQ futures. Uh, this thing never really broke out for me like I was looking for it to, but still was able to book a profit. Uh, just got, uh, kind of started chopping around here. I was actually, actually, let me bring the S&P up. Uh, I was actually, as the S&P pulled back right here, I was actually trying to get long the S&P and it ran away for, from me. The NASDAQ had not run yet. It was kind of chopping around here. So I ended up jumping in the NASDAQ instead. Uh, caught a nice nice bounce here, uh, got out of uh, a chunk of it up here, and then when it pulled back, I added back in, took some heat here, kind of pushed down, and then bounced back up, and kinda, I sat through all this, and finally when it pushed up here, I uh, just cut out, and that was just a few minutes ago, so ended up booking 332 total on my NASDAQ, so plus 640 on the day, I'll take it. Uh, we were actually, we're not supposed to be, we were not scheduled to stream live today, but ended up having a schedule change. So jumped on with my people and, uh, and booked some profits. So I'll take it. Uh, we'll be streaming live every day the rest of this week. Look forward to closing out July strong. We'll see you in the live stream room. Talk to you then.